Hello, and welcome to Network Diagram 101, where the left and the right side of the brain meet. In this video, we're going to talk about tip number three, using layers. There are a lot of different things you can do with layers in Visio. In this example, we're going to create a layer to put confidential information like IP addresses, VLAN tags, and interface IDs so that we can make it disappear whenever we want to share this diagram with somebody like a vendor or a person that's not within the organization. So I have here a diagram that I'm almost done with. And I used layers to create a confidential information layer that all the red items will be on. So I'm going to zoom in to this service layer down here. Wanted to add a couple more of these VLAN tags and uh, some interface IDs to this remaining part of the diagram. So I'm going to bring up my layers properties box by going up to the ribbon, clicking on layers, layer properties. And it lists the different layers that I have in this Visio diagram. For this diagram, I created a layer for background, border, legends, connector, IP address and interfaces, and tags. Some other interesting information in the layer properties is the number of items on that layer. Then also checkboxes for visibility, printing, active, lock, snap glue, and you can colorize the layer. So in this diagram, Everything in red, doesn't have to be red of course, but everything in red, uh, like the VLAN tags, interface IDs, and IP addresses, are on this specific layer here. How I added this to that layer, I create a basic square shape. With it selected, go up to layers, assign to layer, then here I have my pre-built layers. All I need to do is just check on that. It'll assign that layer. Now this shape, it's associated with the other red confidential items that are on this layer that we're going to make disappear. So let's just delete that. And of course, whenever you make a copy of something, it uh, copies the layer attributes as well. So in this case, it's super easy to just take one of the interface IDs that I've already done, copy that, change it to whatever it needs to be. In this case, it's 10 gig one. Copy that over as well. Duplicate that here. It is in VLAN 50, so we'll copy that as well, these two. Okay, and there we go. So now we have a mixture of interfaces, VLAN IDs, and tags. Oh, we need these two tags here. Let's grab these. It's much easier to just duplicate those. Now I want to show you something with these tags. So here we have a tag. It's grouped together. If I do a shift control u to ungroup you can see that it's made of that ip address the name itself and of course the shape so even though these are all grouped together they still retain their layer properties for each individual item so in this case the ip address is on a different layer than the actual name of the device and the and the tag. So we we'll go ahead and delete that. So we now have a nice diagram complete with IP addresses, interface names, VLAN tags. And so now we want to create a version of this that is minus the IP addresses, the VLAN tags and the interface IDs. For instance, this partner DMZ diagram might go to a vendor. So in that case, what we've done since we did a little planning uh, before we started with the layers, so we can make it nice and easy. So we're gonna go up to the layers properties tab. And here we have IP addresses and interfaces. We'll click the box to turn off the visibility. We'll hit apply, voila. All that confidential information is gone now. 
something that you could hand over to a vendor if they wanted to have an idea of the general infrastructure architecture design. So you can share those easy names and how that's laid out, but without giving away that confidential information. Turn that back on by just clicking on the visibility box again. It all comes back. That's one of many things you can do with layers, but it's a great trick. If you just think about it before you start doing the diagram by creating those layers and organize that before you start. This isn't something that you're going to use in every diagram, but what's great is that when you make a custom icon set, the layers follow that icon and can be saved for future diagrams. So I'm going to go ahead and create another quick diagram. Drag a tag over. It's the only thing on this diagram. If I go to layers, layer properties, it has a tag. And the IP addresses. So those came with it. So now if I create a custom icon set, I'll always have those different layers to play with. The same thing goes for using it for things like borders. If you go to layers, layer properties, I created my border template on its own layer so that I can always make it disappear if I need to. So the last little trick I want to show you, go back to our original drawing, go up to our layers, layer properties, and then here you have a print box that you can check or uncheck. I go ahead and uncheck that, hit apply, hit OK. And now if I save this diagram as a PDF, this confidential information won't show up. And here is the printed example. So that's a quick overview of using one of the many different ways to use layers in your network diagram. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe if you thought this video was helpful.